Make it What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of What Sold on eBay last week. We're going to get right into it here. We have our sales pulled up. As you can see, in the last seven days, we have done $824.79 in sales, which is not too shabby, uh, but I haven't been putting quite as much time into the eBay uh, as I wanted to in the past week. I uh, just got stuff going on. So, uh, but yeah, not bad at all. So let's get right into it here. Also, I just realized as I was like starting to record this, I could have swore it was Thursday. My whole week's been messed up. Uh, we have some visitors staying right now at our house. So, um, I thought it was Thursday and it's not clearly, but anyways, let's get right into it. We have the, uh, triple pack Ben 10 game on Nintendo DS for 1099. Do not remember what I paid for that or where it came from or how much, whatever, but, um, decent little sale. And then we have a Motorola track phone that I picked up. I picked up two of these brand new at a yard sale uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, I can't remember. I think I got them for like five bucks each. Uh, and this one sold for $18.99 plus free shipping. Uh, this was actually in a bin at Walmart. Um, the All the games that were there were clearance, but they were all brand new games. And uh, this was only a dollar and, uh, you know, I looked it up and it wasn't worth much, but for a buck, it's hard to, you know, pass up a brand new sealed game. So uh, this coffee mug, I believe I got for a quarter. I actually just got it recently and I listed it and sold like the very next day, which I was kind of surprised about. But 1989 uh, for Michigan football um, coffee mug. So not bad at all on that. The big game is actually this weekend, I think, uh, Mich Michigan versus Michigan State. So I was wondering if that was maybe why it sold so fast. Um, these board games I found, I actually found one of these on a table with like $2 on the tag. And I looked it up and I saw that there was a little bit of value. And then I was digging through a tote right before I paid and they had a bunch of toys and everything in the tote was 25 cents. And I found two more copies um, it's, it's the same, it's exit the game, but then there's the forbidden castle, the forgotten Island and the polar station. Uh, so I just kind of put the one that had the $2 tag on the bottom of the other two and acted like I found them all. I mean, obviously they didn't know what they had and then I had two of them in a 25 cent bin. Uh, so I paid 75 cents for the three and, uh, they sold fairly quickly at 37 99 for the trio, which is not bad at all. We got a vintage, um, Arkansas Razorbacks pin here. Sold for $2.99 plus shipping, and I've sold uh, 14 of those, which is pretty crazy to see. And I still have seven available. Ark the Lad on PS1. This actually sold to an international seller, I remember. Uh, this is a really cool collector series here. There's actually, I've never even heard of the game, but it actually came with thumbstick gel cover things. And I don't exactly know what the little sleeves are for. Um, I can't remember, does it say? I do not know. And then also there is a memory card. Um, oh, there it is right there. So it looks like some sort of a dice, maybe? Like some sort of a game? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, a little PS2 memory card holder and uh, four little thumbstick covers, a, a book, um, and then all the games and discs and bonus discs, obviously. So a pretty cool collector's uh, edition. But this is part of the deal that I got, I paid, I think, what was it, 120? I think I paid 120 for a huge pile of PS1 games, uh, SNES and NES games. And if you guys have been watching these um, What Sold videos, you know that I have done very, very, very well uh, from that purchase. So uh, yeah, very happy with this one, obviously. This watch, I believe I got for $5. We, we uh, My girlfriend and I were clearance shopping at Walmart a while back. It was actually before I want to say it was before the yard sales had started up. Um, so we were just kind of clearance hopping, you know, going around checking clearance at different stores, see if we could find anything worth flipping. And we found these, I think they were five bucks a piece. And uh, so we went ahead and picked them up. And as you can see, you know, not, not a huge amount of profit here, but sold them for $19.89. Probably cost like three bucks to ship it. So, you know, after fees and everything, I've probably got about 10 bucks into it. Uh, so you're profiting, you know, nine or 10 bucks, which uh, isn't too bad. I had two of them and they sold. Uh, they they were listed for a while and then one sold and then the other one sold within, the, within 48 hours of the first one. So it was kind of weird how they were up for a while and then just both sold basically at the same time. 
I picked this up at a yard sale and I remember the lady was like really non-negotiable on it. I think she had like $8 on it or something weird. Still sealed, some cool little like musical art, uh, Looney Tunes characters that you hang on the wall for a uh, baby's crib or a room or whatever. And I remember trying to get her down to like, you know, three or four dollars or whatever. And she just was not having it. I think I saved like a dollar by the time we got done haggling each other. Uh, so I paid like seven bucks, sold it for 20 bucks plus shipping, though. So decent amount of profit there. These I got for a little bit of nothing. I remember we picked up this and some other vintage toy and some Harley shirts from this lady. This was, I think, maybe last last summer. And I probably paid like five bucks um, we were really surprised when we saw the box. The condition of the box was pretty good, and it's from 1990. Uh, and then all of the little cars are in here, and the little uh, the, the little powered vehicle is the one that matters, and then the other ones are just like toppers that you put on top. But we were really surprised to see that all the pieces were there and the original box, and uh, sold for $32.99 plus shipping. This is a shotgun shell reloader. I found this just not too long ago, uh, pretty recently, a couple weekends ago, there's this very nice older uh, gentleman having a yard sale, and uh, I actually remembered I had bought a tackle box full of tackle from this guy uh, previously, and I remembered when I when I bought all of his tackle, he kept really, really, really good care of all of his stuff, and he gave it to me for a price that was uh, very, very fair. And so whenever I saw this reloading stuff, I got excited because I knew that he would probably not want much for it. And he actually told me that for this reloader right here, and then two like smaller, more hands-on like hand reloaders, this is more of a machine, um, he just wanted 20 bucks for all of it. And I almost feel bad about it now, but it's just, it's the growing up poor, cheap ass in me. Um, I, uh, I was like, I acted like I wasn't very, because I, to be honest, I wasn't really sure. Like, I was pretty sure that there was probably some good value in these, but I wasn't 100% sure. It's kind of out of my comfort zone. Uh, so, I, you know, I try not to buy stuff if I don't, if I'm not absolutely sure I can sell it. Um, so I looked around at the other stuff in the garage and I came back and I was like, would you do 10 on all of it? And he was like, yeah. So I got all this stuff for $10 and this one has already sold for 120. Now it was free ship, so it probably cost me 10 or 15 to ship it uh, as it's fairly big and heavy. And then one of the other ones sold, and I'll show you that here in a second. So I did really, really well on that sale and uh, was was really happy with it. These guys got these. Uh, these are Fisher-Price, uh, loving family, grandparents. I think these are from, they've got a date on the bottom, early 90s. I want to say like 93. Why is this picture not loading? Uh, let's see. And it's not, there it goes. Uh, 94 or is that 84? I can't tell. Um, but pretty, 94. So uh, very old. Uh, these are a bolo. If you guys ever see these just laying around in a, you know, a lot of, almost every garage sale has that one tote just full of toys for like 25 cents. If you see these guys, obviously pick them up. The pair here went for $27.99 and I got a, a minivan that's worth about 15, 20 bucks itself, I think. Uh, they all came together. We got, we got the minivan and the two figures, I think for like $5.00. Um, so the minivan, like I said, is like a $20 bill, and then the grandparents I just sold separately for $30, which is pretty uh, insane. So definitely keep an eye out on those. And this is the other Timex wash I mentioned that we got two of these, uh, 5 bucks a piece, sold them for 20 bucks a piece. Got a Harley-Davidson long sleeve here, nothing too special. Picked it up, I think, last summer. Finally sold, $14.99 plus shipping. We got a Nintendo 3DS uh, soft case here, travel bag. I got this with a 3DS and a bunch of games, decided to uh, separate them. It all just depends whenever I start looking at sold uh, sold listings, sold prices. If I leave stuff lotted up or if I break it up to get a little more individual value and how much time and inventory I have and how much I care at the time. But at this in this scenario, I did break it up and I got 20 bucks for just the bag. And I believe I already sold the DS. So we got Off-Road on NES. This was a part of that big deal, uh, the same deal that Ark the Lad was with. And uh, this game sold for $9.89, free ship. We got a vintage Mickey Mouse and Daffy Duck, uh, or Donald Duck, rather, um, birthday card here. Happy birthday to a special friend. I actually have two more of these available. I've got a bunch of vintage birthday cards and stuff like that that uh, I actually inherited from my grandmother. There was like five boxes. I think I've talked to you guys about these before because I sold a Golden Girls one recently. I had to dig through probably at least hundred, probably thousands of birthday cards 
and try to find the ones that actually had like licensed characters and stuff that people would actually be interested in current day. And uh, so they've been selling slowly but surely, but it's just kind of cool stuff. Like they're, it's really neat to see uh, these vintage um, illustrations and stuff like that. And is there a year on this one? They're old. They're at least from the 90s, if not the 80s. Um, so pretty cool stuff to see, but uh, 10 bucks. Uh, and then we have two, these also came from a Walmart clearance. I don't remember how much I got them for, probably not much at all, uh, four or $5 a piece, maybe something like that. And I sold them for $25 free ship. We got a 24 port, uh, ethernet switch that I picked up still in the box. It was in really good condition. I remember whenever I was having LAN parties in high school, cause we didn't have high speed internet out here. One of these was like gold, you know, it was like we wanted one of these so bad to have a 24 port switch instead of having a whole bunch of like four port switches and you have to link, you have to daisy chain them, you know, so you, you waste a port on each switch just by connecting the two switches and you end up having just a house full of switches and power supplies and everything. Um, so anyways, yeah, one of these was like the holy grail, but brand new back then they were like a couple hundred bucks and we were just high school kids with no money. Anyways, picked this up, uh, I think for like $5 and I sold it for 50 bucks free ship. This is the hand loader uh, for the shotgun shells that I was mentioning previously. I got with the other machine that sold for 120. This one sold for $99.99 free ship and I still have one more and I think I have it priced at like anywhere from 80 to 120. I can't remember exactly what I priced price the third one at but um so again i spent ten dollars on the three reloaders and i've already made back uh over 200 uh so it was a very good pickup that i was happy with this is a vonage um uh it says phone serve but i would call it a router i don't know it does it looks like it does phone and uh maybe dsl or whatever but sold that for ten dollars 99 cents not too shabby we got a airsoft trap if any of you guys out there play airsoft and you need a little gel trap these are like for indoor reuse i believe uh it's got a little tray that's supposed to catch the you know i'm sure it's not 100 percent where it's going to catch every bb but it's supposed to have like a, a sticky gel back you shoot the airsoft pellets into it and it sticks to it or falls down into the tray and then you can reload and just keep reusing your target until the stickiness wears off i guess i picked up like four cases of these uh, as you can see, I have 18 available and I actually have paper targets too. So if you want to go to my channel or my, not my channel, my eBay uh, store and search, if you go to um, all, uh, how's it? Li if you go to my Hova Flips on eBay, you'll see all sellers items or something like that. I can't remember exactly how it's worded. You go there and then if you, anything you type in the search bar searches my personal inventory, not all of eBay. If you do that and just search Airsoft, you should see uh, these as well as I have these same exact gel targets um, also bundled with uh, paper targets for airsoft. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of them. Like I said, I got like four cases of them at a yard sale. Uh, I didn't get them for much though. I think I paid like 20 bucks for everything together. So by the time I sell two of these gel traps, I'll have my money back and then everything after that's profit. So if you're interested or you know somebody, you know, you got a kid that has an airsoft gun that might enjoy a gel target. I'm selling them for a really good price, I think, really fair. You know, free shipping, 15 bucks, you can't really beat that. I do have to pay money to ship it to you. So yeah, anyways, if you're interested, I have 18 of those, so please buy them. <laughs> uh, and then I got a vintage, this one's actually really nice. I picked up so much Chiefs gear over the past year. A lot of it I picked up before we won the Super Bowl. Some of it I picked up afterwards, but as you can imagine, being we're like an hour from the stadium, uh, a lot of people didn't like the Chiefs for a long time and they were getting rid of their stuff. Um, but now that, you know, we're a little more of a popular team, some people are trying to get, you know, good money out of their old stuff and not exactly selling it for cheap anymore. But I have picked up a lot over the past year and I've got it all listed now. So if you're a Chiefs fan, I've got a lot of really cool old vintage uh, jackets and coats and, and stuff like that. I actually have a Raiders, a really nice Raiders uh, leather jacket or uh, coat as well, if you're interested. Um, but this one is a uh, Reebok uh, windbreaker jacket. And I sold it for $35 and I probably got it for five or less. Um, we have a, a vintage uh, paint by numbers in Ch uh, Santa's Enchanted Village. This is Santa's Sweet Shop, to be exact. It sold for $50, fast and free shipping. I picked up like seven or eight of these all at once. There was a castle that was worth like a hundred bucks. I sold that one already. And I'm just kind of selling some of the smaller ones now. So I've made good profit off of that deal. We got Iraqi Most Wanted Playing Cards. This is the ones that has like uh, Saddam Hussein and stuff on them. Um, Half of them are probably dead by now, but uh, 
I found these and they're actually still sealed. And uh, I knew that these were like a thing, but I was surprised that they were like actually a legit bicycle brand. I just assumed that they were like some, you know, third party knockoff cards making some like novelty deck thing. But uh, anyways, I just thought it was cool. Picked them up for a quarter, sold them for 12 bucks and actually to a viewer, a viewer. So shout out to you, man. I appreciate the business. We got some Fletch Fuse here, which honestly, I don't even really know what that means. I know it has something to do with archery. Um, and these were clearance down quite a bit for like a buck a piece or something like that. I sold them for $15.49 for a three pack. Not too shabby. We got Driver San Francisco here on Wii. No idea where this came from or how much I paid for it, but I'm sure it wasn't much. We sold it for $11.99. Free Shipperino. We got a game called Wild 9, which I had never heard of. Um, also don't know where this came from or what I paid, um, but uh, picked it up and listed it. We got $7.99 free ship out of it. And the last thing that we have here is Journey, the Collector's Edition on PS3. I found a whole stack of PS3 games. Just I have my entire garage is just filled with unlisted inventory right now that I'm trying to get through. And I uh, found a stack of PS3 games and listed them the other day. And uh, this one sold for $13.99 free ship. So anyways, guys, that is what sold on eBay last week. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please show the video some love. Make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss future episodes. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.